Hi guys, Craig Sherlett here. Today I'm going to show you how I deal with spammers and uh, you know, kind of maintaining my group and keeping it clean. Uh, I run uh, the Affiliate Marketing Accelerator group. It's still a fairly new group. Got about 3,000 members in it and I get a ton of spam requests and other just spam posts. And so I'm gonna show you how I manage that. So just looking at my page here, you can see there's 11 posts needed for approval. So one of the things I turn on is, uh, you know, approval to post. Because of the niche that I'm in here, affiliate marketing is basically like inviting spam. Uh, you know, I just, I have to put post approval on because 99% of the stuff that people want to post is uh, spam. Uh, the main things people are spamming these days is really, you know, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, uh, Forex trading. Um, you know, these are the types of, uh, you know kind of uh, spam that gets posted out there like crazy so here we go I'm just gonna show you some of the things that I have to do you know every day uh, you know I've done a little bit of this today already but I figured I'd go through this and show you guys here so you know I'm just on my main discussion uh, page uh, for, for my group and you can see here I've got 11 posts that need approval five people want to join this group four keyword alerts in this group I'll talk about keyword alerts because this is super powerful for keeping uh, your group uh, clean. So <clears throat> let's just kind of look at some of this stuff. Uh, I'm going to go to the moderate group section here and show you where you can have a list of all this stuff in, in uh, you know, showing your activity. So here we have the pending posts, member requests, and keyword alerts. So I'm going to start with member requests because this is easy. You know, we basically, usually I scan through here and just, you know, make sure uh, you know, these people are not just brand new to Facebook and, you know, aren't just, uh, you know, Bitcoin obvious or, or spam obvious. So most of these aren't. So, you know, I approve it. Uh, I'm usually getting about 30 to 40 uh, member requests every five hours or so. Um, so anyway, so that's member requests. The next thing is, is pending posts. Now, people want to, you know, post in your group. And here you can look right away. This is the stuff that gets requested very little people want to post value it's all about them as you can see here work from home ask me how earn five thousand um, a million of my spam comments are people like this you know no uh, picture should have caught this when I was uh, adding admins or adding new people but again you know no picture shows that they're really just nobody and then these multiple links to get people off your page and onto some other one this is another spam, you know, they've, somebody else is promoting, uh, you know, another particular person, again, Bitcoin, uh, again, more, what is this, you know, make $8,000 in 24 hours. If these people were making $8,000 in 24 hours, they wouldn't be spamming groups. It's ridiculous. So again, just more, more, more. Um, you know, sometimes there's interesting things here. YouTube, this, I don't mind this guy getting on here. It looks like a young guy trying to, you know, grow his business. Totally cool for our uh, group. Uh, again, all this junk, 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 blockchain, Bitcoin, don't buy Bitcoin, earn Bitcoin, you know, same old stuff. So again, a lot of times I decline and I block these people because they're not going to stop. And then here you can click all these things, which will remove uh, this person's entire post which helps keep it clean because they've probably spammed your comment section if they're really gonna try and post those kinds of things so I just go through and do that for all those same people it takes a bit of time and this is what's annoying because really you know if these people just wouldn't do this useless thing these don't go nowhere they've copy and pasted and created this whole post and really I prevented it from anybody ever seeing it it's a waste of time so I'm not gonna do all these I'll come back to them because I want to talk about keyword alerts. So keyword alerts are really, uh, you can put keywords in this section over here within your group moderating. So where are we here? Um, add questions, uh, all right, keywords. So I've created Bitcoin, join chat, Forex as keywords. You can put whatever keywords you want. And what happens then is whenever those people enter those keywords, you basically are able to, uh, you know see those posts and then so when you come back to here where the keyword alerts are here you can basically be like oh great you're trying to post again bye bye you know delete them you can also block here as well so delete comment and block them so off they go same kind of process keeps your group clean and keeps these people out so take some time 
So I'll go through these uh, at another time. I just wanted to show you guys. So if you have any questions, leave something in the comments and more than happy to help you out. This is how I moderate this. Again, I'm in a very, um, you know, spam kind of industry here. Um, but I think everybody experiences, you know, people coming in and trying to, uh, you know, take advantage of the audience. Again, if you're one of these people posting these things, you really got to change your strategy. This isn't going to work. And there's ways to actually make money online where you don't have to do this kind of activity. That's why you're here in this group. This is the kind of stuff we teach, uh, you know, in all of our groups and in all of our uh, stuff is, you know, you got to learn to sell, uh, you know, by, you know, storytelling and using funnels and, you know, doing things appropriately that aren't, you know, causing just annoying spam. Anyway, that's it for today. Hope you have a great day and thanks for watching. I'm Craig Sherlett. Have a good one.